Hey guys, Rendon here with TJ Free. In this video, I want to quickly show you a free program for recording the things that you type in on your computer. So if you look below this video in the bottom right hand corner, as I'm typing, it's appearing. If I do uh, key combinations like Control C or Control V, that gets displayed. You can zoom in there and kind of get a closer up of what that's looking like. So Control Z, Control X. This is a test. And so it just records whatever button presses you happen to press in here. That, that's the space bar. So I'm going to show you how to install this and some of the features for setting it up and configuring it. Again, it's free open source software. This particular one's available only on Windows. Uh, there's a good program called Screen Key for Linux that I'll do a video of as well that has similar functionality. Uh, this software is called PX Keystrokes for Screencast. It's a mouthful. PX Keystrokes UI is the actual executable, and it can be downloaded here. So I'll include the link in the description of this video. This is just their GitHub page where they share all the source files so that anyone can use this for free. Really appreciate these developers. Um, go ahead and support them, give them your support um, if you find this software useful. And um, they give you really good instructions on how to download it too. So follow these instructions. Essentially, we come here to this site, um, go ahead and just right click on the link and go uh, save link as and a dialog will pop up on your computer so choose a place to save it you wherever you save it is where you'll launch it from so it's not a program that gets installed on your computer um, I'll just save this to the desktop it's a just it's an executable file so when we click it it uh, just launches and so every time you want to start the file you have to just click this but it doesn't actually install on your computer which means you could install it to like a jump drive like this and launch it from the jump drive on like a library computer maybe if it allows it um, anyway i already have it running so i'll show you some of the different uh, things that it does um, for me to get to the to make changes to it you hold down Control, alt and shift at the same time and then see in the bottom corner here, it brings up this uh, option. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. So we do Control, Alt, and Shift, and then we can click on this settings uh, right here. And so once that's there, I guess I have to zoom out again to see it. Uh, I'll drag this down here. So these are the settings um, that we have that we can control. Um, we can align where the text appears. Right now, I just have a teeny tiny box right below my video. Oh, and I just realized this is covering up a lot. My video is covering up a lot of this. So the text just appears there. We can change how long it's displayed for. Right now it's one second. You can scroll this to make to make it um, longer. Backspace and delete as text. So if we uncheck this, now when I press the space bar and the delete key, oh, after I uh, close out of this, they won't be registered anymore. Um, to get back in, hold down Control, Alt, and Shift at the same time and click on these settings. Again, they're up here. So we'll put that back. Uh, what else can we do? The opacity of that box in the corner. So I drag this here. This is a little bit hard with zooming in. And plus I have a black background, so that's not working super well. Let me open up uh, Firefox and full screen it. And now we'll be able to see what that box looks like. So it's like a little gray box. Um, and I have it right underneath my, my bar there. But the opacity here changes the way that it looks. Oh, I'm sorry, that's just for the mouse one. The opacity of the background is right here. So we have it be very, very white, very, very dark. Uh, so I have mine set to about here, I think, is where I had mine. And then you can configure it, too, to show mouse clicks if you want. So we click this button here, and it'll show the mouse clicks. So when I click, we can see left click, right click, scroll up, scroll down. Um, and then the size and distance and some different things there that we can have this actually show as well. But I don't show the mouse clicks on mine um, personally. Uh, that's it. You can change the text color, the text font, all of this. Um, so I'm sure once you get it installed and get this opened up, this is really all there is to it. Just knowing Control, Shift, and Alt to make changes and then get in and make some changes. I'm not going to change mine around too much. Oh, but I will show you the way that you can change so this black bar once this is you have Control, Shift, and Alt pressed. If you like grab this, we can make this box a different size. Uh, and we can click and move it around to different parts of the window as well. But I'll leave mine here because that's where I like mine. And I'm a little annoyed that I just messed it up. Anyway, hopefully you found this video informative. Uh, go ahead and leave your questions in the comments below if you have any. Again, I'll include the link for this. It's a great one if you're on Windows teaching tutorials or doing a slideshow presentation or something and you want to show people what you're typing. 
uh, it's a great tool for doing that, and it's free. So hopefully you found this informative. Catch you in the next video.